Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be doing a little review moment of the new Benefit Mascara, their Real Magnet. Um, I'm a big fan of Benefit Mascaras. I love their Real. Uh, Roller Lash is probably my favorite one that they carry. And so I'm excited to try this new one that they're offering, you know? It seems like a really cool idea. Like the extender brush with magnetically charged core draws lashes out to extreme lengths. We'll find out if it works or it's a gimmick. But before we get to all that, I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button. Red button says subscribe. I'm gonna need you to hit it. We have a lot of fun here on my channel doing makeup, food, fashion, lifestyle, anything you could ever want and if you enjoyed this particular video make sure to give it a thumbs up both of those things would really help me out and I'd really appreciate it so without further ado let's get on to this mascara review Okay, so I got the mini just to test it out, you know, before going whole hog with the entire bottle. But the full size bottle goes for $27. And the description on Sephora says, an extreme lengthening and lifting mascara powered by a magnetic technology that delivers up to 36 hours of wear and 40% longer lashes. So that is a crazy claim, 36 hours of wear but we have to try it out to see if it gives that length and that lift because that's what it's really like focusing in on on the description so let's get to it shall we so i think the packaging is really cute it's similar to the original dare reel but it has a cute little magnet on the top um pretty simple but i really do like this magnet it's really giving me uh spy kids 2 vibes when they ride those giant magnets around the island this is a very niche example and i hope someone is getting it out there um okay so let's stop talking and let's just give this bad boy a try so it's a rubber brush it's fairly thin Thick. Uh, it looks pretty similar to just the their real brush, but apparently it's all about that magnetic core that does the trick. So let me get a little mirror. Ooh, it's very like wispy, if that makes sense. I feel like it kind of is lifting my lashes or is it just placebo? Is it making me think it's doing that? Kind of hard to get the bottom lashes because the brush is so big okay so that's one layer the difference it actually looks really pretty i like how it's not spidery that's like my pet peeve when it comes to mascaras it's very lightweight it just coats them really nicely without looking spidery i'm gonna do a second coat just to see how layering works It's really pretty. Not me loving it. Don't you guys feel like it lifted? Here are my normal lashes. And here are these. It kind of, like you know how roller lash gives you that kind of curled lifted look? I feel like it's similar. It, I feel like this is a baby of roller lash and they're real. Ooh, it's really pretty. Okay, let's do the other eye. Okay, so here are both eyes done. I think it looks really pretty. I love just how like not crunchy and spidery they look. They look really light and flirty. I'm like very much so impressed. But now we're gonna do the wear test. It, I'm not gonna do it for 36 hours, that's too much. I'm just gonna do it towards the end of the day and come back in and check in with you guys and let you know how it's held up, if it's flaked off, if it's, you know, run down my face or anything like that. But upon initial application i am a fan i think it looks so pretty i would say it gives more lift than volume like i don't think my lashes look particularly voluminous but i think they look light flirty cute but i like it i like it a lot okay so i'll check in with you guys later today to see how the mascara holds up all right everyone i'm back it's been about 
six hours and I'm here to give my final thoughts on the mascara. So I went for a walk and I got pretty sweaty <laughs> and then I did a Zoom class. So that's kind of what I've been doing between now and then. But let's get up close and personal with this mascara. So honestly, for how much I was sweating and for this being not a waterproof mascara, it like held up pretty well. There is some like um, bleeding, as you can tell, or you know, whatever you wanna call this, but definitely not as bad as I would expect from a uh, like normal mascara. But there has been like no flaking at all, which is really nice. And I think the volume um, stayed in there pretty well. What do you guys think? So I think this mascara is really good if you are kind of more into like, not a natural mascara, but this is like a daytime mascara, you know what I mean? If you're going for a more um, natural makeup look or like, you know what I mean, a lighter makeup look, um, it's not so heavy on your lashes, it's not clumpy, it's not, I wouldn't say it's super volumizing, but I think it's lengthening and lifting. Are those the two claims they made at the beginning? I can't even remember. But I think it's more lengthening and lifting than volumizing. So if that's kind of what you're looking for in a mascara, then this is for you. But if you're looking for more volume, then maybe a different mascara. So that is my final review on the Their Real Magnet Mascara. I don't know if the magnet did anything. I don't know if it was just the formula and the brush that made it like lifting and lengthening or if it was the magnet. I don't know how to tell really. I don't know how to conduct that experiment. But as a mascara, I like it. I think it's really cute and a really good just like day-to-day -day mascara. So those are my final thoughts. All right, so that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this review of the new Benefit Mascara. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. Both of those things would really help me out and I would really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments what you think of the mascara. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. So that is all from me. Stay on fleek, friends. Bye.